you very much. Good evening, everyone. It's almost 18 months since England's only previous visit to Podgorica, the night they reached the finals of the last European Championships. But it was a qualifying success in another sense, too. The match against Montenegro finished 2-2 after England had led 2-0, and Wayne Rooney was sent off and eventually banned for the first two games of those finals. He's part of an England team drawn from just four clubs, Manchester United, Manchester City, Liverpool and Chelsea. In front of a crowd of around 12,000. Players line up for the national anthems. Joe Hart's been here before, not just with England 18 months ago, but with the under-21s prior Ladies to that. and gentlemen, Please welcome and rise up for the national anthem of England. Dame i gospodo, molimo vas da pozdravite državnu himnu Engleske. Side. Montenegro, eight internationals unbeaten. They went through the whole of 2012 without a defeat. Their last losses were to the Czech Republic in the playoffs for the Euro finals. They didn't get to. Well, England, I think the lineup was made pretty clear by Roy Hodgson resting players on Friday evening. Stephen Gerrard and the regular fullback, Glenn Johnson, Ashley Cole amongst those, they're back. Also, the dependable James Milner, plus the Manchester United pair of Michael Carrick and Danny Welbeck, making it five starters from Old Trafford, including Wayne Rooney, who so blotted his copybook in this stadium just short of 18 months ago. It has been heavy rain here. As England were able to train on the pitch last night. And have reported no serious problems. The Swedish referee, Jonas Eriksson, will be 39 on Thursday. And he's almost as wealthy as some of the players, having developed and sold his media rights company. Referee observer, Miroslav Liba, Czech Republic. UEFA delegate, Bernard Messe from Belgium.
three changes for Montenegro to their starting lineup in Moldova on Friday. And in comes the defender, Judovic, who was the player kicked when Rooney lost his discipline and was sent off here in that Euro qualifier. Novakovic in for the suspended Pekovic. And Simon Vukcevic, recently a Blackburn Rovers, is also back in the starting lineup. But much of Roy Hodgson's focus will be on the Italy based attacking talents of Stevan Jovetic and Mirko Vucinic. Is that how you see it, David Pleat? Good evening to you. Yes, good evening, everybody, wherever you are. Let's hope for a terrific uh, game here this evening. I think certainly this is England's biggest challenge in this group, away at Montenegro. And of course, should they get a result tonight, it will prevent Montenegro, if they were to win, going five points clear, which would be a massive psychological advantage at this stage. I think it's going to be a close game, Martin, but I think England should have the edge. Well, they certainly started well uh, on their only previous visit. They were two up after half an hour and seemed uh, set fair for victory, but Montenegro are very uh, tough. Competitors, the Brave Falcons is their nickname, the Bearded Falcons, they really look tonight. And uh, Stefan Savic, who knows all about the England players, having uh, been with Manchester City for a while, winning the uh, Premier League or helping them win it last season, facing some old club mates here. He's moved on to Fiorentina in the deal that brought Nastasic to Manchester. One for Ashley Cole. And uh, a bit of debris to be dealt with. They will try to make it hostile here. It may be, David, more a test of England's temperament than their technique. Yeah, they'll have to be patient, but they'll also have to be aggressive in their play, have to move the ball quickly. But we'll get an early indication, particularly we've heard so much about the front two pairing, or certainly the support play of Jovetic behind Vucinic. If they get plenty of ball, England could be in trouble, but uh, we'll wait and see. England need to get early possession and get the ball into the Montenegro half and play their football there. Well, that's what they're trying to do, working the, uh, the throw down this near touch line. Montenegro ranked 28th in the world, which is quite a feat when you think that in Europe alone there are 42 countries with larger populations than the estimated 650,000 in this land. It's one of the newer nations in terms of football against, of course, one of the most experienced ones. And that, oh, well, the goalkeeper had given it up, maybe thinking it was going wide. Very what a start that would have been for England. What an interesting ball that was by Rooney. I'm sure he meant it for a cross, but um, goalkeeper Buzovic was caught out there and could have easily been embarrassed. And Rooney with the goals in each of his last four internationals, very nearly made it five in a row inside three minutes. It was interesting to see the earlier run of Vucinic, who seemed to stalk past Ashley Cole rather easily on the right-hand side there as he went across field, but then misplaced his pass. Gerard. This is uh, Glenn Johnson, who uh, was past fit, had a slight toe problem that threatened his participation. Joe Hart mopping up. That's uh, an awkward challenge by the number five uh, Volkov, but this was the uh, trajectory of the ball and it. Looks there as though it's going in. And if we look at that again, of course, it almost looks as though it really was purposeful with that with that ball. It looked as though it wasn't so much as a cross, as though he knew exactly what he was doing. He certainly looked up before he played that part ball. And Vucinic will come deep. He's been uh, talking up his achievements in club football against English sides. He neglected to mention that he was in the Roma team, which lost 7-1 at Old Trafford, and made a mess of his penalty in a shootout when Arsenal knocked out Roma from Europe. He 
He scored twice against Chelsea and has a goal against Manchester United to his name as well. Here's Manchester City's Julian Lescott. We have had some heavy rain, but the pitch looks in reasonably good condition. Johnson. Gerrard. Oh, almost uh, in behind again. And uh, there's uh, an awkward one for Marco Basha. Basha by name, maybe Basha by nature, we'll see. Yeah, well, that's the type of progressive ball that England must play, trying to get behind the defenders. Bojovic was the goalkeeper when uh, England uh, came here before. And Gerard with the corner. Comes out his way again. Johnson, his left foot is a good one. Really high amongst the right backs in that respect. Yeah, he's certainly got. Uh... Good feel for cutting in on that uh, side because he uh, played left back also at uh, times for Liverpool. But um, from that position where he's cut in several times and that one flicked the bar as it went over, touched by the goalkeeper, the tall Bozovic, England on top. It's a really positive beginning by Roy Hodgson's side, trying to impose themselves here and silent the crowd that are so close. And they've done that. It's a great header by Rooney. The goal in the sixth minute, his hot streak goes on for his country. And the man who left the pitch in uh, this May here, back in October 2011, has a moment to uh, delight him and his country. Well, Rooney's revenge. He certainly got up well. Very poor challenge against him, no one on the post. And uh, Rooney scores a comfortable goal direct from a corner, just the start England would require. Second corner of Gerrard, well placed. Well, of course, when he went to Manchester United, he wasn't particularly renowned for his heading, but Sir Alex Ferguson himself, who was a, a buccaneering striker in his playing days, takes some credit for improving uh, Rooney in the air, and he scored, of course, in the qualifier in Poland. With a good aerial contact, and he's done the same here. And, England have an early goal, even earlier than uh, in their last visit. And it was Ashley Young who put them in front. And they've got the lessons to learn from that time to uh, not underestimate Montenegro's power of recovery. So one thing England mustn't do now, I'm sure they won't, is to sit back and invite Montenegro forward. And they've got to try and uh, keep on the front foot a second goal. goal with surely destroy the uh, confidence of the home team. It's 35 goals now for Wayne Rooney for England, 26 of them in competitive internationals, which equals the record held by Michael Owen. who got one of the goals in the 2-2 draw here. Now Milner. If you like, Roy Hodgson's shadow squad did uh, him and the country proud on Friday, really paving the way for an energetic evening that England know they need from more senior setup in this match. Looking fresh and focused and firing. Vucinic. Vucinic. Now Jovicic. He's a great technician, coveted by Premier League clubs in England, notably Arsenal. Take it down, and Rooney is running them all over the place at the moment. Really an enjoyable start for him. And Tom Cleverley, uh, very much an England fixture in his first season of international football. Only he and 
Joe Hart had started all the qualifiers. Good forward run there to uh, break up the defence. It's important that uh, Welbeck, Cleverly and Milner, when Rooney does drop deep, that they're always looking to get through into those spaces and try and break up their back fours. And it's a good run there by Cleverly into midfield, one of uh, Roy Hodgson's uh, favourite players, it appears. He has played in almost every game that Roy Hodgson has uh, taken. Once he got in, he stayed in. Vukovic, who left Blackburn recently, and they are concerned by the turmoil at that uh, particular English club. Vukovic, with him uh, in the team. Savage has gone to right back, you can see him just down beneath us. Trying to get Nico Vucinic away. He appreciates the pass, but maybe it was a difficult one, a straight ball, a longer ball, there was much talk before the game, there was a little bit of mind games between the uh, Montenegro manager, talking about uh, England playing long balls or long direct passes, I think it was an over-exaggeration, of course. Well, we've seen two very good long direct passes from Steven Gerrard and Montenegro being, uh, supposedly spotted that up as a weakness, have only made it look like an England strength. Johnson. Milner. To Rooney in behind again. I think Roy Hodgson stressed the importance of turning, trying to turn the defence early on, trying to get behind them, trying to make them face their own goal. But, um, wonderful start for England and just got to keep the ball now and uh, make sure the concentration is good over the next minutes or so. Bozovic, Vladimir. The Swedish official not impressed by the uh, claim by uh, Vladimir Volkov. It was actually a, a Serb by birth and of uh, Russian descent. Qualified for Montenegro. Is cleverly. Gerard, England uh, moving it around almost at will here. Johnson's cross. Vucevic. Going in strongly. Big prize to top the group, and three of the last four remaining England games are at Wembley, including the return against Montenegro. It's good pressing there by England, making sure that Montenegro's defenders were forced to play the ball back to their keeper. They mustn't let them have uh, unrivaled possession in their own half. They must keep, they must press, try and win the ball early. Try and make sure that the defenders don't get their heads up to be able to find passes, particularly to the uh, either of the two front men. Only Poland, David, in the Montenegro's opening qualifier scored against the England's opponents tonight. They had four consecutive clean sheets until this moment from uh, Wayne Rooney. Well, he certainly took it well, there's no qu question about that, but uh, I think it was Volkov that was trying to defend against him and he makes a real mess of that, he lost his footing. Second accurate corner by Gerard. Actually, Cole going in with a header. Rooney playing further forward than he played against San Marino, where he was able to come into the midfield and uh, fly passes around the field almost at will against the amateur players of that uh, small nation in that uh, 8 0 victory. Vucevic. But to try and get a foothold into this game, we're still, of course, only in the opening chapters of tonight's story. Thanks. And happy reading, if you like. Happy viewing for England supporters. Rudy leading the way. 
Team energy, ability to run in behind, and uh, an unflappable temperament. It's better from uh, Montenegro. It's a Jovetic, a long way out and uh, a long way wide in the end. Very ambitious. So far, Montenegro not really put a succession of passes together, haven't got any rhythm into their game. Very much second best. Turn for Branko Brnovic. Yes, he'll be uh, a little bit worried that they haven't started with any aggression, certainly not being spurred on by the vocal chants of the crowd. England have settled far better. I think twice about the psychological warfare next time around. I guess he was trying to take a, a growing weight of expectation, David, off his own players, because there's no doubt Montenegro as a footballing nation are making progress, and uh, these supporters... <laughs> have seen uh, a run of success. Yes, of course, but we have to take it all in uh, proportion and the realistic uh, thought is that uh, as a small nation, you know, they can only produce so many top-class players and at the moment they are playing uh, probably, you know, above the realistic ambitions. England are playing up to uh, expectations and visited across the face of the goal, a percentage ball, really. There's always uh, going wide. It's the midfield battle that I think is going to be important, and so far, Veratic and Nokikovic certainly haven't really got hold of the ball, we haven't seen them at all. England are running the game in terms of possession. solid back four, they have two holding midfield players, and then three players who will interchange and support Vucinic up front, but they have to get possession first. Sudovic. Now Savic. As long and uh, successfully taken down well by Jovetic. Vucinic tries the shot, and others uh, quickly on the scene. But, uh, Lescott, who had to... Uh, Cancel a trip to Paris with Mrs. Lescott. Thought he'd have the international break off. And uh, England called, and he answered the call. He certainly cleared that ball well, but uh, once again, there wasn't uh, a big presence of attacking players from Montenegro. There was only two players in the box there when that ball was attempted to be crossed. Lescott clears quite easily, but uh, now Volkov will try and. Uh, take advantage of his throw. He's not able to do that because he took it from the wrong place. I don't think there was any great disappointment in the England camp with the choice of a referee from uh, Sweden. Roy Hodgson has uh, plenty of managerial history in that part of the world. Yes, he did very well in Scandinavia, of course, after he had a brief spell in England early on at Bristol City and then of course later on at Blackburn Rovers but he's certainly done his miles and he's, he's deserved the chance to uh, run for his country as the leader of the football 15th game in England's dugouts and the 14th for Brnovic who is 20 years younger and unlike Roy uh, an international player for Yugoslavia that until the uh, break up in this part of the world should increase the number of nations for international football tournaments Good touch from cleverly then well back carrying this manchester united in many parts of where you look in this england team because they have to play early when the premier league resumes this coming weekend they're away to sunderland at saturday lunchtime Crowd enjoyed, or some of the crowd enjoyed that 
piece of misplaced. Uh, it's almost on the spot where he tangled with the uh, Judovic. Maybe should avoid that part of the pitch for the remainder of the evening. Well, Joe Hart will feel very comfortable at this stage, hasn't yet, not been tested yet. Haven't forced a corner and haven't really hit a decent effort towards him. This control by Cole, it wasn't the best uh, ball out to him. Savic. They do get something to bite on here, like a free kick, but they're not going to get one. There's uh, deserve one, Martin. There's uh, Vukovic, who's very much left-footed. Take much to light the blue touch paper of optimism in this stadium, and England have got to be aware of that. Good start, but certainly not the job done yet. Savage. Vucevic, who is the uh, record appearance maker for this country. And again, no nonsense defending. Now Lescott did the right thing, but it was a poor cross. Vucevic cutting in on his left foot. To it, and he can see it out. Actually, Cole hasn't played very much for England this season. And when he has played, he hasn't done particularly well. And he's an outstanding in Poland. His one previous qualifier certainly looked nervous in that uh, win over Brazil when he played the first half to get his hundredth cap, as if the occasion was rather even for an experienced man like Ashley, a bit too much for him. Of course, many pundits after the San Marino game, although it was very one-sided. They were singing the praises of Leighton Baines, whose use of the ball was exceptional, I will have to say, in that game, even though the opponents were poor. Every time he got to near the byline or in advanced areas, his use of the ball was absolutely first class. Nothing like a bit of competition, however senior you are in the setup. Mark's there again, good starting position. Goalkeepers alert, particularly when his team are in top in most of the possession. Just following out that back defender and making sure any ball over the top he is in a comfortable position to intercept. Carrick. Cole. Tom cleverly had to wait for a while before Manchester United were convinced that he was going to be good enough to play for them. He went the ideal path into he loans to Watford and Wigan, where he proved his professionalism. And of course, then when he came back to Manchester, Sir Alex felt that he'd served a proper apprenticeship and he was ready for the rigours and the demands of Manchester United, which are a little bit higher than perhaps the demands at Wigan or, or Watford. Way through the first half, one or two more recent signs of Montenegro are about. England have the goal. Scoring when you're on top is very important. Pitch with a long throw out, met by a meaty header from Lesko. Direction again. Once again, kicking very central, which isn't the cleverest thing to do usually. If you've got a good header of the ball, he goes into a slightly wider position and gets tried to be gets marked by one of the fullbacks as an angle. And, uh, two straight deliveries by the goalkeeper. Ball on fallow ground. Vladimir Bozovic. It's a decent set up here. Maybe he was just trying to tee up one of his teammates. He got the ball back again, and now suddenly England are on the uh, prowl once more with Rooney. Cleverly, no way through for him. Back with Rooney again. Well back waiting by the far post. Oh, and it's just too high for him, and he wasn't picked up. Terrific break that. The three Manchester boys there. Welbeck, 
showing good pace to come away with it. Rooney, and then Welbeck on the end of it after cleverly helped the move progress. Good play by England. Just on the stretch, just wasn't in a position to receive to be able to direct that header. But once again, England lively when going forward. Another thing about uh, Rooney and Welbeck is now you see Welbeck has moved to more central position and Rooney's come out to the left hand side. They can switch comfortably. That's a contentious decision there. Was, uh, obviously, Vukcevic, he was offside but he didn't go for the ball. It's tight, maybe he just didn't get it right. Uh, that's always a difficult one. Where the man who's in the offside position isn't involved with the ball. Well back, Rooney. And well back's away. England could be in again. And it uh, bounced back off Danny Welbeck and the goal kick is given. The lovely thing about Welbeck is every time he picks the ball up, he wants to run at defenders, he puts them on the back foot. And a little bit fortunate, I think, there, Abasha, when he came across to, uh, to challenge. for Lescott, the fact that we're talking about him tells you that Montenegro are getting further up the pitch. As they haven't really turned him, they haven't got behind him. They... They're given an advantage here. Welbeck trying to really put it to his country's advantage. Around with the second pass, Milner, oh, and Rooney, it was an awkward one, it was hardly a chance, really. But Montenegro might be improving in an attacking sense, but they're still, David, looking very vulnerable at the back. Absolutely, the ball probably came too quickly there for Rooney. It's a good ball in by Milner, it's something Milner does very well from wide positions. He's able to float that ball at pace, round the last defender, give the goalkeeper a real headache. But uh, Cole took a knock in that, and... Uh, Stayed down. Foul was by Novakovic. Ukraine in this group, one up against Moldova. Yarmolenko, the scorer. Poland uh, trying to put San Marino to the sword and two to the good. Lewandowski, he'll be <laughs> expected to get a few tonight. And peace check. It's uh, only 2 0 coming up to half time. Novakovic did get a yellow card. For that, we see Novakovic trying to uh, mark cleverly there. At the moment, England holding the ascendancy in midfield. The two Montenegro players in the centre there have not uh, won that battle so far against uh, cleverly and Milner and, and Welbeck. Novakovic, incidentally, will be out of Montenegro's next game, which is at home uh, to Ukraine. Well back. Rooney. and pick this team first before he looked at the San Marino lineup. But one thing he did in that game was to give Smalling and Lescott a game together at international level, the, the easiest kind of game that you could get to bed in a partnership. And so far, that looks as though it's uh, paid a bit of dividends. It's, it's not really serious yet from what uh, Montenegro have done, but what defending they've had to do, they've looked very, uh, very together. Here's uh, Rooney. 
sure there are stiffer tests to come in the hour plus that remains. Milner, Gerrard, James Milner turns well. Out by Basher. But, uh, Gerrard's got a chance here. He's not scored for two and a half years for England, a bit more than that. 16 games without a goal for the skipper. side from Glenn Johnson. And he showed good pace there, didn't he, to get to Jovatic. He's looking for his trouble. Number 23, Jovatic, plenty of football ahead of him. He's already got uh, over 20 caps. And that's not very nice when a player of the opposition tells the referee to give a yellow card or encourages him to give a yellow card, that's not sporting. You wouldn't want to see it from the England players either. Well, sadly frowned on in England, but not in other parts of the world, sadly. Johnson only just back, he was suspended uh, earlier in the group. Almost a brilliant piece of invention from Vucinic. showed he could be a danger in that 2-2 uh, draw here and you, you do feel, although it's been a good first third of the evening for England, that uh, they need to maintain this uh, grip that they have on proceedings. And anything that slackens off could be punished. does look uh, promising for Roy Hodgson's side is that the ability to make further chances. You can never guarantee goals, but uh, opportunities with almost every attack, really. Yeah, we seem to have got into wide positions uh, far too easily, if you're a Montenegro supporter. We got into wide positions and got the ball across the face of the goal. And uh, they've got to, you've got to block the crosses, you've got to block the balls coming across the box. And at the moment... Um, the home team haven't done that too well. Well back, perished by Kupcevic. He's got in the left-back position, he's no stranger to that. That's the uh, other left-back, Kupcevic gets it away. Those who uh, have been around since the start of Montenegro independent international football, they were playing as Serbia and Montenegro for a short period prior to total independence, their first international in 2007. When you think of the difference in the history here, Montenegro playing their 49th international game, it's England's 918th, the joint oldest international country of all time. Of course, the old Yugoslavia, many wonderful technicians over a period of many years before the Balkan states uh, split. Now we have the smaller states also producing good technical players, but still very much in their early days. Mike was up for offside. It's uh, Dejan Savicevic, president of the Montenegro Football Association. He's just one of those uh, great players of the past. Champions League final for Milan against Barcelona. Been for 20 years ago now. Strangely <laughs> forward and accurately forward by Carrick. I think the movement of Rooney and uh, Cleverly and particularly Welbeck been very successful so far, moving around. Jovetic has got plenty of movement of his own. Quite being backed up in the same way. And, uh, we'll just have to concentrate as uh, Montenegro work it from a throw. Try and get a cross in. A short uh, looking perhaps for Jovetic, didn't find him. Relief that they did. Savage. Once again, England.
and forcing them to uh, hit shots from outside the box. They're not really getting behind England at this moment. Inside Sveritic. Jovetic. Long ago, uh, a couple of brilliant goals in the European competition uh, against Liverpool. Fiorentina missed a lot of football went a whole season through injury. Vucevic. He hit it with his left foot if given the invitation, and we're aware of that. Zveritic again. Vucevic is a gap. Was he clipped by Cole? Apparently not. Ashley Cole looking all uh, innocent. Yeah, once again, uh, Montenegro could have really, may have had a free kick there. Once again, Welbeck doing extremely well. Making up with Cleverly. Rooney uh, gets uh, another close range finish, and this club unit. Hutchin has picked from uh, Manchester United is serving England extremely well. Yes, well, but the movement of Milner and Cleverly and Welbeck is good, they are rotating well, but of course, they're fortunate that behind them Carrick is very uh, not stationary but in a very nice sitting position, able to intercept anything that comes out, just set the attacks off. Him and Gerard playing slightly deeper, Gerard a little bit further forward than Carrick, but they're supplying enough passes to the to the movement and invention of Milner, Cleverly and Welbeck. I think England are doing well when they're getting towards the last third, there's no question about that. They continue to look dangerous. This is a team proud of their territory, proud of their independence. Very pleased with the progress that uh, they're making on the football field. Okay. Making a bit of ground there. Was the talismanic Vucinic. A good season with Juventus. Champions League uh, very much on the horizon, the quarter-finals. Big, big match-up against Bayern. for a club in Ukraine. Good take. That's yes, confident catch by Joe Hart. Hasn't been faultless in this campaign. He has been the only goalkeeper used. A bit of competition now that Ben Foster's made himself available again. Fraser Foster, also in the squad here. Celtic. Carrick. Getting it, giving it. Johnson. Carrick again. Cleverly. Johnson not closed down. No, I was going to say, Martin, considering they're defending in depth, you've got to at some stage go and close the ball. It's all right getting behind the ball, but you've got to go then and meet the ball and try and make the man in possession get his head down and not being able to pick out a pass. And they're not doing it too well at the moment, Montenegro. Finding space. Once more, an England player in the attacking third able to pick a pass. And Montenegro had this excellent defensive record going into this match. Certainly not looking rock solid, but they've only conceded once. Hit with the goal, it's also hit the frame of the goal. Difficulty. Gerard's radar. Uh, Ashley 
Carroll, who was trying to head it back towards Welbeck, typifying uh, his uh, individual approach in England's work ethic here. Cleverly, Rooney. On the second England goal, would uh, not be unjustified. I can use a double negative. <laughs> Off. He's only kept it in to the benefit of Johnson. Carrick. You saw how many England players forward. Gerard was forward. His three midfield players were forward in front of Gerard and Rooney when Carrick uh, played that ball. And um, they have to find a way out. They haven't or don't appear to have that scheming, subtle midfield player to supply the ammunition to Vucinic and Jovetovic. Uh, there's no question in my mind at the moment. They look rather pedestrian in midfield, and certainly when England have the ball, they positively are not good at uh, marking and following their men because the rotation movements of England midfield players, no question. Milner popping up on the left, Rooney popping up on the right. There's, there's good an interchange of movement which is making them difficult to mark. Yes, it's praise for England. Point fingers at Montenegro, try to dig in and really leave uh, at times the top two, the most best known players in Fucinic uh, and Jovetic, one or two others supporting to conjure something out to win matches. At the moment, those behind really uh, building a platform for the star strikers. But it's only the one. Distinguished studio guests will sh surely be thinking and emphasizing maybe at halftime the need for concentration at the level they've been involved in so much as players and coaches. And here's Welbeck, and the referee has not given England a penalty. He's penalized Danny Welbeck for going to ground too easily. David Pleat. Well, I don't think he had any choice. I mean, he was stumbling there, he was losing control of the ball, and he stumbled over the ball. He wasn't searching for a penalty, there's no question about that, you see that. And he didn't appeal for the penalty. Just got touched by behind on, on his arm in the, in the first place. I wouldn't have given a penalty, but by the same token, referees must be very careful when they give yellow cards for simulation. They must be sure that the player who goes to ground is purposely trying to deceive the referee. And Welbeck wasn't there. issue in the game. And, uh, referees have to uh, stand up and if they get the odd one wrong, it's perhaps in a, in a right attempt to uh, stamp it out. I'm sure that Danny Welbeck didn't appeal for a penalty. <laughs> and England uh, have to clear it away here. It's uh, Glenn Johnson on the cover who's also been booked, of course, back by Savage. Piece of aerial work by Lescott, and just for a moment, England looking a little bit untidy. We've not really said that very often in the first half, which has a, a couple of minutes to run. Johnson getting forward, and Bozovic trying to stop him unfairly, holding him back, pulling his left arm. Strange thing is, Martin, we thought that the cheerleader, which we can hear quite clearly all the time, would act as a kind of an excellent uh, 12th man to, to stir the home team on. But it hasn't uh, really acted in their favour so far. And that's a pose that sums up the situation for Montenegro. Their coach perplexed, hands on hips, furrowed brow. I think the best thing, if it stays this way at half-time, uh, he can go in and say, well, as we could be further adrift. It's only one, they might tire. Got to get at them. We've got to do a bit more of what we can do. England have been playing well. We've got a free kick here. And remember, it was uh, Bonovic, the coach's first game in charge of Montenegro. They came back from 2 0 down to get a draw in October 2011. Not 
quite sure how the referee saw that as a free kick. Gerard has a go. Doesn't get as far as the keeper. It does produce a corner, and of course England struck early. The Gerard left wing corner headed in by Rudy. They've got a chance in this first half to score late. Power between uh, Rooney and Carrick in that far post area. And once again, Volkov goes to Mark Rooney, having made a mess of the previous attempt to mark him. And into the same sort of area, and uh, Rooney this time had pulled away. But uh, they've got to stop it here because of the Montenegrin player dropping to the ground with a head injury. but he's up quickly. And as this ball comes in once again, it's uh, a challenge by Lescott that time. But uh, accurate uh, balls being placed into that area by Gerard. Over Lescott, Chris Smalling uh, climbing. We're into added time. What undoubtedly has been uh, England's half. It's only half the job. It wants to be uh, top of Group H when they walk off this pitch finally tonight. Lucinic. In the end, gets past. Charlie Lescott by fouling him. David, your thoughts on the first period? Well, I think that England have been very promising, no question about that. I think the uh, movement in midfield's good. I think they've been overly troubled at the back, and we're playing a team here, or England are playing a team, who've really made no concerted attacks. We know there's a danger up front, but so far England will be quietly confident that they can continue in this vein, and they should be able to win this game. All the signs are that England should win this game after going 1-0 up by that early Rooney goal. Before that, he'd hit a post and he headed England into the lead on a ground where his memories have been pretty unhappy prior to tonight. He hopes he'll be smiling at the end. Smiling at half-time are England, they are 1-0 up here in Podgorica. He has plenty for those final words to the player he hopes can just turn the tide a little bit, which has been flowing against Montenegro. England have been slick. The replacement for Novakovic, who was booked in the first half and is much more of a defensive player, so it is an attacking move. The sort of thing you would do, David, please? I think 1-0 uh, down at half-time, you've got two sitting midfield players. I think it's a fairly obvious thing that, uh, to concede one of those players and put an attacker on. You know, they're going to have to go for the game, they're going to have to throw people forward if they want to get something out of this game, particularly as the game goes on. And um, they don't want to be, uh, they want to have enough numbers in forward positions. They haven't troubled Joe Hart so far. It'll be interesting to see if the uh, if Bruno Bernovic has uh, managed to instill a little bit of confidence into the team to make them go forward with a little bit more heart and a little bit more spirit and with a little bit more cohesion. Talked at the start about the weight of expectation on the Montenegro players, having uh, put together a good qualifying uh, campaign so far, having uh, got to the playoffs for the last European Championships, punching above their weight for a small nation. Now they've got to find some punch against the big nation. And that's it. Uh, promising start that will get the support maybe pumped up to the levels that perhaps England were pleased with dealing with in the first half and quietening the crowd and by Bozovic no challenge on Hart by his own admission hasn't quite been at his best this season that includes a mistake in Poland in the qualifier he came for a ball that he didn't get 
nil lead became 1 1. England might want a repeat of that here in Podgorica tonight. Jovetic. He's blocked off by Johnson, who is on a yellow card, remember. Movement by Jovetic there, playing the ball in, going for the return. Johnson just cuts across his path and uh, he's not going to get away with that. It's, uh, for sure, a free kick. It's worked cleverly for well, Vucinic with the. Jovetic, the brains behind it as well. Remember the ball dropped back. Collected by Vladimir Bozovic. A big uh, ten minutes or so here. For, uh, just to get their game going again. Half time perhaps came at the wrong time. Here is Vucinic. Make a lot out of very little. They're set up with a cross. And they're, they're piling in, and the uh, ball hits the net on the outside. Jovetic at the far post. They did well at the start of that move as well. Jovetic, nice little, little dink up to the back post. Never had enough angle really to steer it to, into the goal. He was at the uh, top of his jump there, really under challenge. Hart had it covered at that near post. But uh, much more promising. He's uh, acting as cheerleader as well. Volkov was the other player in there, the number five. Left sided. And so the first half started with a bit of uh, debris on the pitch. It's been difficult when England have been taking corners. Fine dividing line between uh, exuberance and unacceptable behaviour from the crowd. And uh, Savicevic, who we mentioned in the first half in his role in uh, charge of the FA, pleading with the supporters prior to this match not to get Montenegro into any more crowd trouble because fines have been hitting at the coffers, certainly not the richest of football federations. Well, of course, any delay because of debris, we'll just see this uh, chance again. You see Hart there, a good position, he got across his goal well drawn towards the near post, comes back across his goal, follows the flight of the ball and is covering at the near post as uh, Jovetic tries to steer that one in. Very good cross from Stefan Savic, actually. It was uh, played in by Vucinic. It's a little bit more sounding like what England expected to face and one or two signs that the football might be a little bit more what they expected to face having been the dominant force in the first half. Minutes is a long time, particularly away from home on a foreign field. They've had a bad second half here 18 months ago. Sveritic. Janovic trying to get there. Carrick, much more under pressure, but his pass away nonetheless. Rolled on cleverly by Gerard. Rooney. Wants to strike one. Now Milner. Rooney's on the move in the middle. Oh, and it wasn't far away from him. Got behind by Savage for the corner. Nice move by England. Quick passing, nice little triangle in midfield. And when the ball breaks kindly to Milner, he puts the ball into the perfect area. And uh, Savage does a sensible thing. Great viewing in this stadium. It's a bit like uh, Montenegro and uh, Queen's Park Rangers. By Gerard, and this time Bozovic comes out and gets it. There's a, of a spring in the home team's step. Obviously, uh, some motivation at half time from the, uh, the coach and probably from the players themselves, the senior ones, knowing that they can do better. Put England under some sort of pressure. It's been called a foul. Of course, not happy. And he's uh, trying the referee's patience in terms of descent. They certainly look a little bit quicker to the ball, I don't think the eyes are deceiving. This half, the balls are played up to England players, there we see it again, much closer, much closer. In the first half we felt that they gave too much respect to England when they, when they were facing them with the ball, but now they're closing better, are the Montenegrins. 
Damjanovic. Came on as a substitute in Moldova on Friday as well. They scored pretty late to get the win then. Maintained their position as top of Group H. And to get at least an equaliser to still be in place after this one finishes. Vucevic getting in the wrong side of the laces. Yeah, that's concentration. I just suit England. A chance to get the ball further up the pitch and get back to their tempo of play and the uh, technique that they showed to uh, better effect on the home side in the first half. Bit of a bubble back to heart there as that ball went back from Escott. Yeah, the Manchester City pair actually got the distances right. It wasn't a case of the defender getting too close to the goalkeeper or vice versa. The pitch played a part. Gerard having to come back almost into the back line to help out. Multi ball system here, ready to throw another one in. Throws it from the right place this time. Won't be punished by Mr. Erickson, referee. He didn't seem to have such a long throw in the first half. We'll see if he gets from greater distance this time. Enough to trouble England. Vukovic, all back in, defended by Smalling. Moody's cushion header, hoping a teammate would get there first, but they didn't. And one or two taken out of the game. Jovetic. Savic. Jovetic again. Damjanovic in the middle. Others arriving at the back post and uh, they'll pile more in. There's no doubt about it. When Jovetic is on the ball, he's certainly got uh, quick feet, bewildering feet at times, and uh, England have to be very careful they don't dive in against him because he's a type of player who can easily get them a penalty or free kicks around the box. It's coming to the boil here in Podgorica tonight. And it certainly would have done had that gone in. It's going to be another corner to all uh, Basha. This is trade in uh, French football. And defending posts. Sudovic is the number 20. Central defender. Do a bit of blocking off here, one would suspect. Create a, a chance, Hart does get to it. Gerrard for the next ball, which is important for England. They can push out a bit now. For the first time in the game, you feel the Montenegrins feel more confident, pushing men forward. Always the chance, of course, to get caught on the counter. They show a greater appetite for the game. Slow to start. We've got to make sure that they don't muster a fast finish here. Almost ten minutes gone in the second half. But arguably, Montenegro's best spell in the match. Ball carried by Milner. from a set piece is seeking a second goal to the area commanded by Bozovic good distribution from the Montenegrin goalkeeper and from Zvaratic it's a quicker tempo here Vucinic to uh, Vladimir Bozovic. It's not an easy one to take on the volley. But Jovetic, as David's been saying, has got very good feet. Semblance of a chance? Yes, I think so. Came to him, he had the... You know, he is capable, it's a left-foot volley, it's not easy to take. But, um, 
Interestingly, he had the confidence to, to take the effort. And they've got the passionate fans behind them now. And we just have to hold this little bit of a storm. So, so far, the second half is belonging to the home team. Savage. and England break it up and Rooney with um, Gerard making a forward run this time. Yeah, not to leave any spaces at the back. That's why Scott is it's quite a rarity really at naturally left side is in the half but they've been caught out here the ball has stayed in play. Jovatic waiting in the middle and uh, Vucinic his partner in crime didn't find him. This is Vukcevic. Great position Milner took up there to intercept that ball. Offside. Typical Milner works so hard when that ball comes across from the right hand side. Interesting, a lot of players thought that ball was out over the touchline and Nico took advantage. Pointing out that out now to the referee. A bit of debris being thrown onto the field there. Must be careful. There's Milner who intercepted that ball on the edge of the box. Vital interception. James Milner it is what it says on the tip. Week in, week out, club or country, you know exactly what you're going to get. Except, of course, Martin, he hasn't been playing too regularly for his club, as indeed is the colleague in the England team, Lescott, which is very interesting, really, the two Manchester City players there. You know, have been playing very uh, spasmodically for their club. There was a time not that long ago when Manchester City were dominating the selection of uh, England head coaches, and Manchester United have done in this selection. Volkov. So Gareth Barry out of favour. Michael Richards, of course, is still uh, injured and has been out for a while. Adam Johnson doesn't play for Manchester City anymore. Doesn't play for England anymore at the moment. Oh, and it's put over the top by Vucinic. Chance. Very few players going in. England headed it clear. Very poor header by Les Scott. He seemed to... Uh, ducked down into the ball and headed it into a terribly dangerous area and, uh, well, got to take those chances. But, uh, England must now try and get a grip of this game. And losing out at the moment to the passion of the home team. Yes, it's passion, it's industry, things that they didn't have in the first half. Is they certainly had the second half. I think that we're here on their only previous visit. They had to wait until uh, the 90th minute for an equaliser for a 2 2 draw then. Billy Basic, who's on the bench tonight, came on in that match to equalise. Janovic brought on at half time here. Athletic well back. Yes, every time he's picked up the ball, he's ran his marker back, and of course, in doing so, he's run, run, running all of the team, the Montenegro team, back, and uh, that's taking its toll. Johnson. Just unfairly rolling his man. failed to qualify for the World Cup 20 years ago when San Marino were also in their group. And so this time around, they win here tonight. A big significant step towards Rio, but it's Vucinic uh, threatening that winning position again. Tidy move there down the right-hand side. Started from deep and uh, better movement. Well, but a little bit wider now for England, and he 
was in the first half, but it's significant that with two thirds of the game on, Roy Hodgson are gone. Roy Hodgson has made no attempt to make any changes, and often at 60 minutes, it is a time sometimes when managers think about the first maybe tactical change. Fires it across, and Andy Welbeck was going into a very good position there, and it's going back to Rooney again. And Welbeck would have been advised to stay in there, which he did. internationals that he's played in in 20, 2012 2013 season all five of them another change Vukcevic along comes Milos Kerkotic for his debut such terrific kicks from this area. As uh, Montenegro try and uh, rev up a revival here, that could be stopped in its tracks if England put another set piece to test down the defending. The man who gave away the free kick deals with it at the cost of a corner. And now Montenegro could break here, England with men up for the corner. But, uh, well, if the pass, got away with it. If the pass was meant for Vukanic from Juvetic there, it was a poor one. Great chance for breaking, they just must be careful there when they have free kicks or corners. Again, Milicic looking for Vucinic quite uh, threateningly from England's point of view. Well back. Second goal for England be so so significant. The chance to uh, strike for it from this free kick as well back is clipped. Lovely ball by Gerard, just attempting the defender to make the challenge there, slid it down the side beautifully. Now this is uh, something that Rooney might like to take, having experienced a lovely flight and accurate kick in San Marino. Yes, he was almost kept on until he scored then. England's sixth goal. <laughs> and he was substituted straight afterwards. It's hope that England... I've never quite understood why Ashley Cole doesn't actually get involved in these left-footed situations, but he doesn't. So England have two very good right-footed options, although Angle doesn't favour it. Rooney is one of them, and the goalkeeper read it and stopped it. Difficult minutes for England in the second half. Certainly the Vucinic chance that he put over the top represented a real opening for an equaliser. Nice bend by Rooney, with just not enough pace to uh, worry the keeper. You see all the wall just uh, lifting themselves off the ground as a, as a group to try and make it more difficult, but Rooney still manages to get enough elevation. Only one of seven of this 11 
were in the squad in uh, South Africa for the last World Cup. Given the amount of disappointment from England's uh, campaign and, uh, in that part of the world, maybe it's a bit surprising, but neither Hart nor Carrick got any game time. Capello's selections. And Johnson did touch it. And it is a corner. Ball corners drop a little bit deep, beginning to fly one or two passes with that left foot of his. Gives the more chance for the, the, the Janovic who came on at half time. Now have an effect another forward option. Gets uh, an arm to it. Another out of arm's way by Cleverly. Bucinic, wrong option. Actually melted just away from him, England, for a moment. Using hindsight, but he just felt there that uh, the striker could have turned and hit the shot himself. He was trying to be too uh, too cunning, too clever. Trying to make the perfect goal. You've got to look for shots. You can get ricochets, you can get shots go through legs, you can get rebounds. And I think that's what they, they do have to press now, Montenegro, at every opportunity, as many shots as possible. Overplay. Three quarters of the way through this testing evening for England. They still lead from that very early Wayne Rooney header. Milner. Gerrard. Subtly, but in terms of personnel, Volkov. Best of balls to Wozovic, and again, Milner had tracked the run responsibly. Yes, absolutely, and just deterred the uh, full back there, Wozovic, who made a great supporting run, but Milner was there anticipating covering it, he saw it plenty of time, he just came across there. Hard there, showing the referee quite clearly that uh, some object, possibly a coin, has been thrown. With due respect to the Montenegrin uh, enthusiasm, we, we really can't be uh, hard to say. Oh, my goodness. He saved and it didn't from uh, Vucinic. We do love to see the enthusiasm from these supporters, but there is a line that must not be crossed. The ball nearly crossed the line there. A nervous moment for Joe Hart there, really. Vucinic cutting inside of uh, Lescott. So far, Small and Lescott have a solid job. Not compromising and centre back. of uh, first-choice experienced central defenders. Two uh, clean sheets in these two games would show that those who've been entrusted with the task were up to the task. Same two, of course. Every night of uh, San Marino wasn't obviously too much of an examination. It's certainly different tonight for Smalling and Lescott. Still plenty of optimism around the stadium. Montenegro supporters, players trying to produce the verb that's given them one uh, excellent campaign in the European uh, qualifiers. They finished second behind England in that group. Just narrowly here and away to the Czech Republic for a place in the finals, which would be astonishing for a nation so young. Gerard. Milner. Might reach Rooney again. Made a great angle there, Milner, to cross the ball. I have to say he's uh, very valuable on this uh, when he's on this right-hand side with the, the, the balls that he plays into the box. Jo 
Kovacic. Vucinic! Well, the terrible two from England's point of view, combining there. And the captain at the moment could easily have scored there, might have scored earlier on when he missed a chance. But he's becoming a little bit of a focal figure as the game progresses. And England have to be very, very careful because there's no question about it. They are beginning to look really dangerous. England have to work hard now to restore their advantage. They have lost that midfield ascendancy that they had in the first period, there's no question. Here's Cleverly, part of that uh, midfield ascendancy in the first half. Well back. Having got to the uh, position of being furthest forward for England in that attack. Do you think it's time for an England uh, substitution, David? I, I think a change of, of some sort, possibly in the centre there. Maybe a little bit more experienced. Tom Cleverley can't really get into the game at this moment in time. Uh, England aren't passing the ball as smoothly as they were in the first half. The extra aggression of the Montenegrins coming into the ball to meet the ball has helped them considerably. We just need probably a little bit more, for want of a better word, power in there at the moment to try and restore this advantage. No-one's beaten Montenegro since November 2011. Leading the way here. Time is on their side. They need their side to be stern and resolute now. A bit of uh, delaying at the free kick, which the referee wasn't happy about. Veretic takes it short. It's a set up for the shot there and Hart. To be fair, Jovetic hit it well. It was uh, not exactly a comfortable save, but it wasn't uh, hugely difficult either. It was in the uh, Within reach. That was a good save. I mean, he had to go across, as you say. It was a neat height nice for him. But uh, well struck. Montenegro corner. England on the back foot. Oh, and the ball hit the frame of the goal. And now uh, they are knocking on the door. We're just rocking England. They're just rocking that little bit. Came off Gerard, I think it was. Onto, onto the post there. Could easily have been an own goal, some confusion. Joe Hart has to command that six yard box when these corners come in. Oh, the next change is another, the third and last one. And it is the man who equalised against England in the 2 2 draw in the Euro qualifier, Andrea Deli Basic, placing Vladimir Bojovic. Volkov will. Defend the left-hand side now. It's a test of England's defensive organisation. Keep the concentration strong. And, uh, the referee has to decide here whether this is a little bit of play acting, or whether he may have seen something more serious. England think there's dirty tricks rather than a dirty play from the visiting team, but any bit of uh, contact can be uh, an excuse for going down. It's not the seemly side of the game, but this is a uh, grab something pretty much at all costs. Derek was the English player closest to that incident, but he's not someone uh, likely to start a rough house in that penalty area. But Need to win their headers here. Owen Hart kept it out extraordinarily in England pocket. And Damjanovic forced it in for the equaliser. It has been coming. 15 minutes to go and it's 1 1. Not once, not the second time, but at the third time of asking from that corner. Well, it was all to do with willpower and determination. Really go in such a, a, a group there. They won the first header clearly, the second shot, and that man, number 14, he really was the man that was leading that surge on the England goal. 
great had moment. all three efforts. Third time lucky, yeah. Dejan Damjanovic. First one was a good header, marking in question. Then I believe it was uh, Cole who got the ball off the line, or Johnson. But uh, certainly the last word goes to Dejanovic. The half-time sub has equalised. And now we're going to have a fascinating last 15 minutes or so. Well, all credit to uh, Franco Bernovic, the coach. Of course, he's the coach who's losing at half-time. He was proactive. I think they don't get uh, anything uh, from this game. I think there will be questions about the lack of reaction, maybe, in England dugout. But, uh, there are other issues to contend with here about crowd behaviour as well. Yes, I think there are, uh, for sure. I think it's not easy for the England players. You saw that the group of uh, militia men, whatever, on the, uh, uh, the corner flag there. I'm sure objects are being thrown from behind the goal. You quite clearly, clearly see a flare now. There's a fantastic, uh, not vicious, but a vigorous atmosphere in the stadium. It's, uh, it's not comfortable, and that's why I feel someone like Lampard at this stage could well be, a, you know, we've got for 30 minutes and we haven't mounted too many attacks in this half, and, and we've, we've lost it in that, in that area. We must try and regain it in these last 15 minutes. The first half of England's strengths and some weaknesses have been exploited in the second period. Tough as teak if you're in England, white at the moment. Passion in the stands is roaring Montenegro forward. And, uh, England have got a free kick here, and every free kick is against Stefan Savage. By the same token, of course, uh, Martin, we, we must keep calm, as they must, because they can get over excitable now, having equalised, go into one or two silly free kicks. Um, Ashley Young is on. Scored in uh, Podgorica, that 2 2 Euro qualifier. Trying to conjure up a second goal for England here from uh, his set piece expertise, which is considerable. Retrieved by Gerard. But it's Bedlam in Podgorica at the moment. I to say that Young was outstanding against San Marino. Young again, played by Judovic. Welbeck's gone more forward now at this stage. Vucinic, captain leading the fight. Here's uh, Damjanovic, very much the man of the moment. That should be a goal kick. And it is. is a man that doesn't uh, treat the twin imposters of defeat and victory too emotionally. He'll keep calm. It's hard to keep calm. And, uh, this atmosphere. And uh, Franco Bernovic has seen some reward from his switches. Decision making, and they are beginning. He's, to... he's been put just now, and they're, con and they're conceding free kicks, Martin, as well, which gives England a, a way back into the game. Ten minutes to go. England's captain Stephen Gerrard. It was an early corner, produced England's one goal. But that in itself not enough for victory. Jovetic. Vucinic. Jovetic in a bit too much of a hurry. And now England can uh, make this turnover count, perhaps, but now they've lost it, and suddenly there's space. England should have enough back. It was actually Cole there, badly caught out of position. Vucinic, after a good break from uh, Zveritic from midfield. Vucinic looks like a hard man to please, the yes, he looks like skipper. an irritating character, I'm sure he's a very fine player, and he is a fine player. 
but sometimes he looks at people who he may consider have lesser technical ability and he looks at them with a little bit of disdain at times. Not the best thing for team spirit. Zeretic, slightly iffy throw. Jovetic and Vucinic. Jovetic again. Dealt with by Leska. Too well back to fight for, but he uh, doesn't win the header. Carrick. Now uh, Young. Manchester United uh, man, of course, on for another with Cleverley's departure. Ashley Young again. Oh, oh, guilty just at losing uh, his focus back on his heels. And Janovic losing out. And it's Gerard who lets fly! The style well favoured by uh, Stephen Gerard for club and country down the years. He's swerving away a little bit. Goalkeeper had to keep his eye on the ball, but was always swerving away from the goal. Interesting now with Welbeck partnering Rooney. England probably have more forward chances, but of course they open up the midfield slightly. So it's been a fascinating last few minutes, it really will. Jovetic having a go at England and caught. And they tried to converge on this talented Italian based. Second striker, you'd call him, really. He loves to come short, let somebody else play right up front, although Vucinic is of similar mould. They're hard to track down, and they are really the cause for optimism that Montenegrin football has now. They're both technicians, they're certainly not the old-fashioned ram-raiding, tall centre strikers who uh, frighten centre-backs. They are the ones that come off, the modern type of striker will come off and play cleverly around the feet and one-twos and sh sharp movement. But uh, opportunity now from a free kick. A concern for Basha, with all substitutes having been used by Montenegro. These are vital minutes, uh, a win for Montenegro would take them to 16 points, five clear of England, and England wouldn't want to be in that position. With the games to come. Medical staff just checking out the basher. A touch of uh, concussion. Yeah, when the story of the qualifying group is writ large, what happens in these last six minutes or so may well play a prominent part. And if it stays at 1 1, Montenegro will have played three and not lost to England, which just sets them aside, really. But Vucinic can't. The very thing you want at this stage is the goalkeeper to be worked. Yes, his finishing tonight has been the downside of his game. Lutinic. It's going to go to the wire here in Podgorica tonight. Second half has certainly been the game that was uh, built up, if you like, by the, uh, the pre-publicity. And so dominant in the first half, but as the uh, lads were saying in the studio, 1 0 really wasn't fair enough reward for that effort and might uh, have come back to, uh, to bite England in the backside, and that's the way it turned out. Bucinic to flex off Gerard, and oh, goodness me, <laughs> what a freak that would have been. Well, alert. Gerard playing it against Bucinic, it would have hit Bucinic's goal. Could have been Vucinic's best effort at goal so far this <laughs> yeah. evening. There'd be an irony there. It's a corner in England have conceded, having scored from a corner routine of their own. Set pieces producing both goals, not quite so direct from Montenegro's point of view. The first effort set up the chance, and another corner. Good work by Welbeck defending at the near post. Judovic in there, the number 20. John beautifully in the near post. Referee in a good position there as well. Making sure that his decision is correct. Vice Veritich uh, gets it away nicely taken down by Ashley Young, but the wrong uh, choice got away with it. 
could have lost out to all players. Stepan Jovetic, on the edge of his own penalty area, Ashley Young. They're worried and uh, they're entitled to be so, but what England teams, whatever the circumstances, the criticisms of recent generations, they've always had the ability to score, to find the individual inspiration from a talented group of players. Not always been the best team play, but they have match winners dotted throughout the lineup. A match winner could strike a match then to win a match. For their country and Montenegro, I think they've got a throw, but in fact, it's a free kick to England. That's most annoying when a forward does that work to get in that position and then can seize a free kick. His teammates will be most annoyed there with who connection. Stay on your feet, you get the throw. Absolutely, absolutely, and the game goes into that half of the field. Instead, it's going to go into the half of the field where Roy Hodgson wants to see the ball. for England. Tiana scored an absolute, came back into the setup and scored an absolute cracker against San Marino. He scored for his club this season, so it's been an injury hit season for him. He and Bates exploited acres of space in the first half against San Marino. Carrick, better from England. And uh, the goalkeeper comes and deals with it quite uh, powerfully. Gerard, uh, he might have found a way to end his international goal famine at such a crucial time for this country. Crazy tackle that. By uh, Kukatic, the international novice, rather showed in the way he went there. An issue of uh, control in these uh, closing minutes for England. And, uh, conspicuously lacking in the second half. Very evident in the first. Milner now would be the time to get the noses back in front. Gerard. It's Glenn Johnson there. Gerard! Oh, he caught it well. And so too did the goalkeeper. Uh, it would have been a great goal. Left foot volley. It's a foul by Milner, is it? He protests. Bernovic is going quite wild on the touchline there. Not happy at all. Well, he's seen his side actually get into a winning position and almost in the, just losing their discipline and a bit of shape in the last few minutes. Maybe lose a game, but possibly at the second half, but the old cliche, a game of two halves, it's certainly uh, panning out that way, but there's still life in it. In the 90th minute. He's got a little bit excitable, I feel, in the last few minutes. Uh, Rooney feeling that England can still win the game, obviously. Suggesting to the referee that, in his opinion, that uh, the home team are wasting time. Three minutes. Additional penalty to the three minutes now. Three minutes. Another penalty to the three minutes. Three minutes. One second. England fans, please stay Certainly in the uh, DNA of uh, England not to, to sit back and take a point here. It would be a total disaster. And the Montenegro have to play uh, at Wembley. There's a goal scorer, Dejanovic, there conceding that free kick. And in the last few minutes, they must have conceded six free kicks through being impetuous. Carrick. That's a lovely ball to uh, Ashley Young. And Welbeck still going strong. Cole, Young, questions about offside, not given. That could have rolled anywhere. In fact, England will get it back again, and is that a foul? Is that appealing for it? They're not going to get it. I should have done, I think. I agree with you, David. That's a patriotic remark. It's a new 
neutral observation. I think once or twice the referee has been a little bit uh, short in his positions. I'm sure it's not an easy game to manage at times, but... Um, well done. Rooney, England have got a free kick this time. 90 seconds to go. Judovic. I don't know if Judovic was hurt there, he was staying down, he just uh, knew he was going to get a yellow pass. Trying to suggest it was his first uh, challenge, but I don't think that's quite correct. Well, it's not quite down to the wire as it was when David Beckham took a famous free kick very late at Old Trafford, but it would be very, very timely if either Gerrard, or it's not going to be Rooney as he's walking away, if Steven Gerrard can give England the lead in the closing seconds and the three points to top Group H. He's ready. But the referee isn't. Pitch coming to the end, there was a bit, a bit of argy buzz, another yellow card as the wall won't go back. It might have gone to Deli Basic, who's on that far end of the wall. How many teams retreat the proper distance? You see them three for shape forward. Here's Gerard. Oh, goodness me! Nearly got through the goalkeeper's grasp. Perfectly placed. Tall goalkeeper just seems to stutter really as he pushed that one away well, it wasn't really a convincing save but he's so, managed so to do the job well it started with an England goal from a corner this time but Ashley Young's going to take it Rooney is waiting, there's the signal added time to added time this is Carrick he's got in a great angle for the cross there it is, it's been a terrific contest, first half to England, they scored through Rooney, but Roy Hodgson's team couldn't maintain the momentum, they conceded an equaliser to Damjanovic, also from a set-piece, Rooney this time does go the distance, unlike 18 months ago, and England stay two points behind Montenegro, we're still plenty to play for. It isn't the worst result, it looked as though it was going to be exactly what Roy Hodgson wanted when they had the lead, but Montenegro showed what they were made of in the second half, why they're so highly regarded in Group H. He was their hero with the equaliser at the third attempt, three attempts from one corner from one player, and he finally found the way past Joe Hart. And the final score in Podgorica tonight, Montenegro are still unbeaten in three internationals against England, They've drawn all three, this one, 1-1. One, one. Only just, though, that was hard to watch. If you're an England supporter, you'll have bitten a few nails in that 45 minutes because they were up against it from the off. And Joe Hart is perhaps relieved that uh, only one was conceded and it is not a more disappointing night for England. As it happens, it may be that the game at Wembley, when these two meet again, will be a big decider as to who wins uh, this group. In the other games, um, Ukraine have beaten Moldova by two goals to one. Poland, 5-0 winners over San Marino, but he is the hero of the night uh, for Montenegro. Dejan Damjanovic, the goal scorer at the third attempt. So we will get the thoughts of uh, Michael, Terry and Alan in just a few minutes to a one-all draw in Podgorica. It's as you were at the top of Group H.